So in this example, again, I'm in my Excel template here. This time we're changing pricing conditions. And the big difference here is that this time we're actually going to be querying those pricing conditions out of SAP. So pulling the data from the SAP tables and dropping it into my Excel file here before making some changes. And in this case, we're just doing a 5% price increase across the board uh, and then submitting those changes back into the SAP system. So I've got my upload script and my query script. And if I select the query script and kick it off, the first thing that'll show up here is a runtime variable wizard, which is really just the filtering of the data that comes into Excel. Chances are you don't want an entire data dump of all pricing conditions uh, in your system. You're looking for specific ones to go in and update. So in this case, you can see we're looking for a specific type within a specific sales organ distribution channel, and I'll actually filter based on the material range here too. So then I'll click OK. And it's now querying my SAP system, and it'll bring that back into Excel here. So we can see for the material numbers that I listed, here's the current amount, and here's the updated amount just using an Excel formula to add 5% to that, as well as an Excel formula to give me my new valid from date. So now when I'm ready to actually upload those changes back into SAP, I switch over to my transaction script. And again, we can validate the data, make sure that it's going to be accepted by the system. Since I just got most of this information from SAP, I'm not expecting any data errors here. Although it looks like it did try and run an extra record there. So when I know that the data is good for all the lines that I have here, I can actually go through and now run that. And again, we'll see that it's going through and updating those condition records in SAP.